Well, I've looked downtown at Monument Circle. No snow, so that's a good thing, right? No snow. <laughs> Pretty windy. I, I was windy. kind of expecting to see our camera move around a little bit, but not so much right now. This one must be blocked because it, it's still windy. <laughs> it's still windy. Uh -huh. We still have some. Uh, oh, there, there you go. go. <laughs> Scott asks. Uh -huh. Scott receives. There's the wind. Yes, and it has been windy all day long. We mm -hmm. had a wind gust of 60 oh, out of the oh, airport wow. in Indianapolis. I was just saying I would hate to be on a flight, either oh. taking off or oh, landing at this time. I'm yeah. just saying. Yes, and we're thankful for those pilots yes. that landed yeah, all those safely. planes yes. safely to get everyone where they needed That's to be right. ahead of the holiday. Uh, 40 degrees right now in Indianapolis. It is still windy. Cloudy skies, winds sustained right now out of the west uh, at 28 miles per hour, but they're still gusting up over 40. So when will the winds die down? Well, that's going to happen over the next couple of hours. We're technically under that high wind warning until 9 o'clock this evening. Mentioned those wind gusts still up over 40, right at 40 in Bloomington, a wind gust of 41 in Indianapolis, and a wind gust of 45 in Kokomo. So still some dangerous winds out there for the next couple of hours, but those will be winding down. Our storm system now along the east coast moving through New York, headed toward Boston. Boston with the rain, we still have the windy conditions and a new weather system out west. You can see it from Seattle all the way south into Southern California. They've got rain, wind, and some higher elevation snow. And that new storm system already triggering winter storm watches for the Dakotas, winter storm warnings for the higher elevations out west, and a winter weather advisory for the midsection of the country. We will stay on the warmer side of this next storm system, too. It's going to be out to our west during the day tomorrow. This is Future Track 13 that will take us start to finish on Thanksgiving Day. If you're traveling close to home, roads will be dry, but it is going to be a chilly day. That drumstick dash forecast, temperatures in the upper 20s and low 30s, will peak out close to 40 tomorrow afternoon. More clouds than sunshine, not nearly as, winds, as windy as it was today for your Thanksgiving Day. Future Track 13 will look ahead at that next storm system and the local impact set to arrive on Friday afternoon and Friday evening. We start Friday, that busy shopping day on Friday will be dry for most of us. However, the leading edge of the rain set to arrive 3 o'clock for the southwestern part of the state and then continue to move in as we head into the evening hours. Stop it at 7 p.m. on Friday. That's when we've got Circle of Lights downtown Indianapolis. We hope to see you downtown. If you're coming downtown, dress warmly and at least be prepared for rain chances to start to increase, especially toward the end of the program. Coverage begins here on Channel 13 at 7 p.m. Lights come on at 8 o'clock, and that rain will become more widespread Friday night into Saturday. And right now, Saturday looks wet and windy with that second storm system overhead. Cloudy and cold tomorrow will near 40, 42 on Friday. Showers developing after 5 p.m. with the heaviest rain Friday night into the start of the weekend. We'll end the long holiday weekend. Scattered showers that may mix with a little snow. Right now, we're not forecasting any accumulations on Sunday. All right, that's some good news there. Angela, thank you.